Welcome everybody. My name is Derek Tagliarino with Informa Connect Life Sciences, and I'm joined today by Tim Canonico of PwC. Tim is a partner in the pharmaceutical and life sciences practice. Welcome, Tim. Thanks for having me, Derek. Hi, Tim. So uh, before we begin with the, the real meat and potatoes of the interview, can you tell me a little bit about your background? Sure, sure. So as you mentioned, Tim Canonico, I'm a partner here at PwC. Uh, I help lead our pharmaceutical and life sciences risk and regulatory practice. It's a practice of professionals that helps pharmaceutical, med device, biotech companies of all size, all sizes deal with their compliance and regulatory challenges. Uh, that's my background as well. I've spent my entire career helping companies address and navigate the complex regulatory environment. That includes building compliance programs, assessing compliance programs, operating all aspects of a compliance program, and really over the last several years, focused on tech enablement. How can we drive costs out of compliance? How can we make compliance more efficient? And how we can help compliance become more of a value creating entity? Okay, great. Um, so let's get right into it. Uh, what challenges are you seeing in the market as it relates to pharma and life sciences compliance programs, and particularly in the HCP, HCO interactions and transparency space? Yeah, no, it's a great question and it's a hot topic. I mean, when you, when you take a step back and think about how this has evolved over time, there have been a number of settlements, a number of issues, a number of new laws that have, that have been passed, and companies had to put programs into place. They put programs into place to deal with compliance challenges and not always deal with the user experience or the most efficient process. Uh, when you step back, there are a number of things that are happening big picture today. There is tremendous pressure on lowering costs. There's patent cliffs. There's pressure from US drug pricing regulations that are happening. Uh, there are compliance functions that are trying to shift from being operational focused to be more business advisors. And COVID has thrown a whole wrench into how pharmaceutical companies and medical device companies interact with healthcare professionals. And really those three things are coming together and companies are really rethinking how they can change the game uh, when it comes to HCP engagement and global transparency. Historically, these have been really expensive, manual, disparate processes that really very few people are fond of. And internal stakeholders don't like the experience, external HCPs, KOLs don't like the experience. It's slow and expensive and burdensome. Uh, and companies are right now really, really thinking about how they can turn that on its head and change the game on how that works. And that's what we're spending most of our time right now doing is transforming fundamentally how HCP engagement and spend transparency and actually monitoring that comes along with that uh, as well. Okay, great. Um, so why is PwC getting in the business of these products? How, how did you go about developing your focus on, on the products and technology? Yeah, no, it's in, in fact, we've been in this business uh, for 25 plus years. Right? We've been on the forefront of helping companies deal with these regulatory requirements from a consulting perspective, from an IRO capacity. Uh, and over time, we've seen a need in the market to bring technology that can change the game on how this happened. When you think about it historically, most companies had to build custom in-house software to address either HCP engagement or spend transparency needs. It's expensive, it's slow, the business is constantly changing. Every one of our clients has some sort of ERP process going, our, our program going on, M&A happens, and these become perpetual projects that are very expensive to maintain. And our clients actually asked us, they asked us several years ago, PwC, what are you going to do about this? We know you consult in this space, but there really aren't any great solutions on the market. So what we did is we actually looked high and low for what the best solution on the market was going to be. And ultimately, we couldn't find anything that met all of our clients' needs, in particular around HCP engagement. So we went out and we actually built our own software. Uh, we built our own software not because we wanted to, but because we had to. We built it with the long list of all the requirements that our clients told us they wanted in a true end-to-end -end HCP engagement solution. Something that's global, something that's mobile enabled, something that's flexible, secure, enterprise grade, integrates with other solutions and creates that really great end-to-end -end experience in a compliant way. And that's what we've built with our Interactions Hub product that changes the game on HCP engagement. 
And similarly, that's what we've done with transparency reporting as well. Transparency, we've had our own technology for a decade and our clients asked us, can we please license it? Can we please license it? And, and finally, a couple of years ago, we decided, yes, we are at the point of maturity as a company where we can license it. Uh, and therefore we've brought these products to market and we're really excited about how they can change fundamentally how this process operates for the industry. Okay, that, that's great. Can you tell me just a little bit more about your solution and, and what some of the components and features of it are? Sure. Yeah, so when you think about the end-to-end -end life cycle, we really have three different solutions. What we did was we thought about how can we build technology that's best in class across three different parts of that value cycle, value chain. Interactions Hub is our product that does all the HCP engagement. It does advisory boards, consulting service agreements, speaker programs, external funding, the list goes on and on, but it supports all the activities that a manufacturer would do in terms of fee-for-service related activities. It supports it end-to-end, -end, from annual plan, through needs assessment, through fair market value, through contracting, proof of performance, and payment integration, and it supports them deeply. So when you talk about contracting, we have full contract lifecycle management capability. When you talk about FMV, full FMV capability, exception routing, all of the different things that happen to make FMV successful. When you think about pre-approval and workflow, cross-border approvals, all the different uh, escalation paths that you'd imagine, we've really, really thought hard about what is truly end-to-end -end in interactions and how can we best digitally enable that in a product, in a product that's designed to work globally as well. So when you think about multilingual, you think about mobile, you think about multi-currency, think about multiple system integrations. We've built all of that so that it can work for clients, big, small, pharma, med device, biotech, and be best in class in digitizing HCP engagement. We have Transparency Hub, which sounds like what it does. It's designed to be best in class in handling all of the global transparency reporting challenges that our clients have. Um, we have been in this business, um, we're actually one of the first in this business over a decade ago to do transparency reporting. And we've learned so much about what to do and what not to do in transparency reporting. We've built all of that know-how into Transparency Hub. Transparency Lab lets you take data in any format. It's smart, it finds the issues, it allows you to correct the issues with an audit trail, and it allows you to generate reports anywhere in the world for all the jurisdictions that have transparency reporting requirements. It takes a lot of the pain, the heavy lift, the inefficiency out of transparency reporting. And then we've also built Detection and Monitoring Hub. That's our tool that, that digitizes risk assessment and compliance monitoring that's another area where we see significant need for digital um, enablement to drive more efficiency in how that process works. All of these tools, as I said before, were built to be individually best in class, but we recognize and our clients have demanded that they have the ability to integrate together. And that's what we're bringing forth to the market is an integrated set of technology to truly handle that end-to-end -end process. Okay, great. And and finally, maybe you could provide a, a practical example of how PwC has implemented the technology and services to improve compliance programs. Yeah, it's, it's a great question. We have, we have so many examples to choose from, but one, one of my favorites is uh, how we've helped a, a Japanese pharmaceutical manufacturer. We helped them take a look at their HCP engagement process. And when you looked at it, there were several silos there was a silo around pre-approval, a silo around fair market value and contracting and the payment process. And none of this was connected in any way. So when you think about the user experience, you had to type the same information over and over again. These manual processes from a compliance perspective are ripe for risk and ripe for issues that happen. Um, the user experience wasn't very good. It's easy for things to fall through the cracks and you have to be very detective in the controls that you implement as a compliance function versus preventative. Uh, and this, the story goes, when we, we, we looked at some of their end-to-end -end engagements and there was 27 emails that went back and forth uh, amongst all of this process to get, it, to get, the, to get an engagement out the door. Uh, and they were, when, when they were asked, how long would it take you to explain your spend with Dr. Smith? It would take up to two weeks to look in all these different systems to find that information. And what we've done through for them is helped get rid of that complexity. We've helped digitally enable that end-to-end -end process. 
get rid of that swivel chair where you're swiveling from system to system to input data by having it in one solution. We've integrated with their other providers and their other solutions so that the data automatically flows. And the result is a more streamlined process, a more efficient process, a more compliant process. And today, when you ask them, what's your spend or what do you have going on with Dr. Smith, they can tell you instantaneously because it's all in the system live. In fact, you can see these things as they're coming to fruition. You can see activities and events as they're being planned by the field and as they're being executed. That level of efficiency, compliance, and visibility fundamentally changed how they operate as a company. Um, and we're excited to do that uh, with companies big and small. We're helping with similar stories um, today. Well, that's great, Tim. And uh, I appreciate your explanations today. And um, yeah, anything you want to say in closing? I, I think, thanks again for the time. I, I think the only other thing I would say, really two things. Uh, when you think about PwC, you think about the, the, the professional services firm for the last 150 years and not really a products firm. Um, over the last several years, we have really changed how we operate to be a services and products company. We've stood up our own products, um, our own products business here at PwC that has over 1,900 people today. These are engineers and developers and support and maintenance professionals. Everything that we need to have a truly effective products business. We have over 100 products today that we're now marketing. We see this as a, a really exciting way that we can deliver more value for our clients at lower cost, and that's what they're asking for. And the last thing I would leave you with is it's not all about products for us. Um, we know that to go on these transformational journeys, you need multiple pieces of the puzzle to make this work together. So what we're doing is we've brought our consulting, our products, and our managed services together so that we can help our clients on these transformational efforts. We help you up front, design the strategy, build the future state process, make that change happen. We implement our products to tech enable the vision that we set out in our consulting engagements. And then for our clients that need assistance, we can provide managed services across that continuum to further lower the cost and take the heavy burden away. So for, for us, really, it's that those three prongs coming together where we think we can add the most value for our clients. And that's really, really what we're excited about uh, in the years to come is doing more and more of, of that integrated solutioning for our clients. Well, that's great, Tim. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what PwC can do in the future. I appreciate your time and thank you for it. And thank you everyone for watching. Thank you for having me.